Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up? Who have you made better? It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life, and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with Him, but He always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, life coach, and the host of this show, To Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. I'm asking you to look inside yourself. One day, a man had an accident while driving to work. He got out of the car and yelled at the other driver, Lady, you need to learn how to drive. You're the fourth person that hit me today. Isn't that coincidental that four people hit him? In life, we can get to a point sometimes where, well, like this man, we're always pointing fingers and placing a blame on other people. But there comes a time when we need to look inside and say, well, you know, maybe I'm the one that needs to be uh, corrected. Maybe I'm the one that needs change. If you're finding fault all the time and developing a habit of seeing the bad rather than the good, if you're skeptical and have trained yourself to be cynical and sarcastic rather than believing the best, if you're constantly blaming uh, other, uh, other people or everyone for everything that's going wrong in your life, then maybe it's time to look inward instead at other people. Just like the man who had the accident while driving to work, uh, if he had been hit four times in that one day, obviously he's the one doing something wrong. Because four people just wouldn't hit hit you. I mean, it has to be that you're doing something. One thing I've learned is, uh, is a critical spirit will follow you wherever you go. You can get away from it. You can leave one job angry, upset, and bitter and go around saying, they didn't treat me right. My boss doesn't know what he's doing. Nobody can do anything right. But if you don't deal with the root of the issue, you have the same problem at the next job or your next relationship because it is just going to follow you. You'll still think everybody is against you. It's because the problem is inward and not outward. Friends, here's what I think. 
uh, well, here's what I know. I love what Jesus said to the people that we're always placing the blame on others and looking at what others need to fix all the time instead of looking at their own lives. He said, and let me say this, quote unquote, get the telephone pole out of your eye before you try to get the toothpick out of your brother's eye. He really didn't say that, but my point is, what he was saying is, look inside, deal with your own issues. Spend time trying to improve your own life, and you'll have a whole lot less time being critical and judgmental towards other people. When I come to the end of my days, and I stand before God, and he says, Ralph, what did you do with the time that I entrusted you with? How will I answer that? How did you use the gifts that I gave you? How will you answer that? Those are two pretty good in questions that God will ask. I would hate to have to say, God, I spent my life criticizing others, knocking people down, and, you know, trying to make them look bad, placing the blame on others and uh, stirring everything up. I would hate to do that. I have had a hard time believing that God's going to say, well done, you, uh, you uh, good and faithful servant, you did just what I asked. No, I imagine God is going to say, do me a favor, clean your own window, look inward before you come up here. If not, before long, you'll be finding fault with me. I mean, can you imagine if God really said that? Today, you can make that switch, starting today. You can work on cleaning your own windows. You can wipe away the judgment the criticism and fault-finding, which may be the things that have held you back for years. Love believes the best in others. It always sees the good in other people. And when there is blame or fault to be found, instead of looking outward, look inside. Take a good look inside. Don't be afraid to look inward and humble yourself before God, because God understands. After all, when we're humble, we give God the opportunity Promote and bless us each and every time. In 1 Peter 5, 6, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. The message pretty much says this, So be content with who you are and don't put on airs. God's strong hand is on you. He'll promise you at the right time. Live carefree before God. He is most careful with you. So, all I have to say, basically, is is that always look inside yourself. Try not to blame other people for everything. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other, take our lives back, be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a stranger can help that stranger forever, and it can change your life. God wants you to look inside. Stop blaming other people, because you know what? We all have faults. It's not always other people's faults. We all have faults. I have mine and you have yours. May God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow and take good care of yourselves. And remember, God loves you. Take care. Bye-bye.